you know, I really don't know the point in buying a raincoat if you're not going to wear it when it rains. Bless my heart. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. So, all the snow has melted, pretty much gone away. We're above freezing. I can't complain about that, right? <laughs> But I can complain that I got this cute new little inexpensive but very efficient, it seems, raincoat with a little hood. You'd think I'd have that on underneath these. <laughs> just about getting out and getting it done. I'm so used to just getting out and going that I don't really think about stuff like that. But uh, maybe someday. You want to talk about some prime, beautiful garden action. Look, I'm standing right in it. Look at that. Honey, that's not mud. Oh, it is a lot of mud, but that's not all mud. <laughs> I told you we were full of hockey. <laughs> now, this is more of the December, January weather we're kind of more used to. We get some freezing temperatures and things like that. You might have a little spurt of something, but we really don't get a lot of bad weather anymore in East Tennessee until the end of January. Well, well, even old school was the end of January. My birthday's January 28th and I was born on that day in 1977 on that blizzard. And during that blizzard, my mama has 14 stories to tell with that. So, <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is more what we're used to. It's really inconvenient and it's very, very muddy. And, uh, but all of the animals are doing good and eating like little pigs, uh, especially rotten she is rotten oh yeah oh yeah that's gonna grow some nice cucumbers coming soon Enoli? Noli? Hey, uh-huh. I'm talking to you. Gotta love finding treasures <laughs> in your hay bales. It's just part of the morning, girls. <laughs> Here's what we've discovered. Tethers are very important. When you have these dogs in training, like I've said before and before and before, if you're not on, you know, on point watching them 100% when they are still young puppy slash teen, they do tend to want to chase and play. Now, that should be expected. That's normal. But you have got to try your best to keep them trained that, oh, nope, not supposed to do that. Oh, can't do that. Nope, not going to do that. They eventually do grow out of it, but you have to manage that. Remember, this is a dog. This is a girl that has not been spayed yet. She's not even a year yet. Another thing you have to really consider is territorialism over spots and food. So she's running in the barn now freely with Cochise. And he loves it. Actually, he, he was very excited for the first day or two. Now he's like, oh, there she is. <laughs> But my point here is, is we have to make sure that we watch what she's doing. We watch movement. We watch, you know, cues. But especially we have to make sure that he is, his food bowl is completely up. We do know that Cochise, he doesn't have food aggression towards us. He has never shown that. Never done it. I can walk right over and pick his bowl up. He's like, okay, okay. But he doesn't want a turkey. He doesn't want a goat. He doesn't want anybody coming around his food. So you can imagine, you know, the reaction he would give to her if she came over and was like, oh, let's eat. That hasn't happened because we're not allowing it to happen. Sister, you need a nail trim. Um, I think we're going to need a full spa day after today. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, pretty much. So if you're wondering about the story on these two little rascals in here is they are some of my younger dolings, doe, uh, 
We're pushing doe status, but they tend to get pushed out of the herd, not in a, an aggressive form, but they do tend to not eat as much. What do you show everybody who you are? Any other time you're being nosy. Hey, any other time you're being nosy. But they're smaller, they're not very forward or aggressive. So, you know, when we feed, they kind of get kicked to the side. So when the weather's really bad or we feel like maybe they've been pushed out a little bit too much for a day or two, we tend to bring them in, let them recoup together, and we put them back out. They get along fine, but we're just keeping an eye on them. I remember to turn out the light. Everybody good? Peace out. Just stay out of the mud. Hey, Tolly. <laughs> okay, so we're having to make some changes with our backsplash. <laughs> I know some of y'all said at home went, it's not going to work behind that stove, but we're going to let little sister, little sister, don't you? <laughs> don't you do what big sister done, which is to put wallpaper back behind a very hot stove because you're flipping biscuits all the time. Well, here, here's the deal. So we're having to change just one spot on the backsplash. So I love my wallpaper backsplash. I told you we've done this just pretty much kind of like in an interim phase because I don't want to spend a bunch of money on a, somebody professional coming in to um, do my backsplash because that's what I'm going to have to do. What I want is brick, like the split brick. I, I, that's what I want. So it's kind of like I'm I don't want to settle for anything else if I don't have to. I may change my mind. I'm a woman. I'm prone to do that a lot every day. So long story short, if you saw the video on my kitchen update, I bought that particular type of um, the new wallpaper, oh, like a, over a year ago. So I went ahead and decided to do it. We did it. We custom fussed a little bit about putting it up because, you know, that's what we do too. But it looks great. The problem is, is we have two pieces that we're starting to kind of detach right over this area where the stove is, the large open area. And yes, I have been mammal redneck and I actually taped it back up there. So I thought about taking the whole thing down, but the rest of it is sticking beautifully. No problem, no problem. Now, like I said in the video before, if this lasts me six months, maybe I'll just get lucky, I don't know. But what we're gonna do, and we've already started doing, is we're gonna take the, um, it's called facade. You see it at Lowe's and and Home Depot and all these different places. And I know people on YouTube have done demos of how to put it up and have it in different videos and stuff. So my idea was maybe we could just take down what's behind the stove area and just put this up there because it's more heat resistant, Patera. And no, I'm not doing the double-sided tape. I'm being a good girl. And I bought the um, Loctite. There's also liquid nail. Some people use one or the other. So we got it cut last night. We're not, it's not finished. So that's what we're in the middle of doing. It may not look, well, here's what it's going to do. It's going to look good. I think overall, but you know, we know the tiny little details if there's anything messed up, but the, the point is, is just to get it fixed, get it moving and get it going. And you know, at least I won't have scotch tape on the wall. Winning. But I don't really want to do a full backsplash just yet because like I said, what if I change my mind? What if I come in with marshmallow cabinets in June? And then, I, I, you know, what if I change my mind? <laughs> but really, honestly, I want to take our funds and focus it on things, other things that we need to do to, you know, prep and secure the home. So while a backsplash is beautiful and, I, you know, I love it just like a lot of y'all out there, um, I want to try to be, you know, frugal. What are you doing? Yeah. Do you know what happens to chickens that wander into the woods? Do you really want me to tell you? Uh, okay, find out for yourself. Are you fighting? Are you broody? What about you? Why are y'all fighting over here in the corner? Oh my word. Okay, I have hens trying to go broody in January. This is not what we want. Let me get these eggs. I have silkies and now buffs trying to go. You know what a 
amazes me the most about chickens and ducks and just birds in general is you can create the most beautiful spot with all kinds of straw and hay or whatever and they love that initially and you would think that that's where they would want to be with mud and muck and rain and snow but the reality is is they love a hot mess Alrighty guys, so we're back in. We're cleaned up, finally ready for the day. <laughs> a little bit more presentable, but this is what we're doing. So let me show you. I know you're going to laugh, but that's okay. Hey, we're all learning together, people. So you can see that this separated right here, heat, and the more, it just, it's like it just started to shrink and come, up, come apart right, just right here. And then, can you see my mammal tape? <laughs> hey, whatever it takes. So this is what we're gonna do. We're going to take down the wallpaper in which this area is going to be covered by this. I, I decided to go with this. I actually brought home a beautiful copper piece. They have several different colors. Um, and then there's a beautiful company in, I think it's in Texas, American Tiling, and they have tons of things like this. It's actually like 10, and people put it for ceilings and beautiful places in the home, gorgeous. But I want a quick and easy fix, and I want something that is more heat resistant, and I think this is going to do the trick. Now, we're going to, uh, it's already cut, and we're going to put it in place, and we're going to put it up with, like I told you earlier, I believe, um, the this. I hope that, am I doing this right? Actually, J James, are you doing this right? <laughs> but we're going to find out together. This is the, we're learning, and we're finding out what we like. And really, that was the whole goal of doing something like this, was to go, do we like a darker backsplash, a lighter black, a backsplash? I would have probably already had black brick put up because I love that. Um, and now that I've fast forwarded, you know, six months, a year or whatever, I'm not really sure that's what I would want now. So see, this is good. Better to find out what you like, ladies, right? Don't commit until you know. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll find out together if it's a mistake. It's inexpensive. I think these are $22.67. So, you know, we're not out a whole lot of money and we certainly are learning and we're excited and it's gonna look cute. I have faith. Y'all be good out there. Stay the course, stay busy, keep focusing on what matters and we will see you, maybe if we make it, <laughs> on the next video.